What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Lil Mike Mike Six, and today I'll be playing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, a lot of you guys probably didn't know this, and I'll explain. I'll tell you guys a few things. But over the last year, your boy Lil Mike has lost more subscribers than I've actually gained over the last year. So, uh, I, j I just thought I'd let you guys know that. So, uh, I was originally intent on kind of going over a rant in this video but I was like eh, and nah, I'm not gonna do it because uh, I don't want to lose more subscribers than I've already lost I've already lost a lot and one of the main reasons I've lost a lot is because I just really haven't uploaded any Call of Duty and uh, that's not the real reason why people leave the true reason is why to why people leave is because I upload Mortal Kombat and that's what's really funny to me so since Mortal Kombat X came out um, once the game came out, that's when I started losing my subscribers. When I well, not even once it came out. It's really in, since I started playing Injustice. Once Injustice came out for free on PlayStation, that's when I started losing my subs. Um, I had I had about 801 subs, and then I started playing Injustice, and I started losing subscribers. And it's it, it's it's almost like for about almost a full year I didn't upload hardly anything I uploaded maybe 10 videos that whole that whole year of last year uh, I might have uploaded more than that I don't know it, was, it wasn't a lot of videos I know that but um, I wasn't really losing subs I mean people were still coming in and people were still like pretty much liking my channel you know uh, people were still coming over checking out my videos and stuff and then once I started uploading injustice people started like unsubscribing like so that's what that's what kind of surprises me a lot about like the call of duty community is people don't want to see anything other than call of duty no matter what you upload they want to see nothing but call of duty um and then once i started uploading mortal kombat x then people just started like disappearing even more and look at this i barely i didn't even see that guy right there but oh well it is what it is he killed your boy um but this is something that's I've even seen this happen with Chris Move. Like Chris Move uploads other games other than Call of Duty, and at first his channel didn't seem like he was like really just anything was happening. But then out of nowhere, it seemed like his channel just became big. I mean, his his channel just started getting bigger and bigger. He started gaining more and more subs, and that's kind of what I was looking to do. I was kind of like, eh, hey, you know, if I can kind of sway away from Call of Duty and start uploading other stuff, I'll maybe gain some subs and. It just really didn't work out for me like like it did for him. Um, I mean, there are some really big commentators who don't upload Call of Duty. Like, there's this one guy that I've met before, and I've I've played with him before. I met a, a guy named Tyler Lantern, and I played him, and he only uploads really fighting games, Mortal Kombat, uh, Street Fighter, um, stuff like that. And, I mean, he his channel was growing, so I figured I could do the same thing. Um, which didn't really work out for me too much. Uh, there were some really nice moments of fighting games. And here's one of the craziest things that happened to me with fighting games. Uh, I actually went out and recorded about 100 different combos with characters on Injustice. I recorded about 100 different combos. And this was around the time that my uh, computer was broken down. So I w my intention was to record all of these combos, save them on my P PS4 then go back and transfer all of those files from all of those combos over to my computer once I got my computer fixed and then upload all of those combos onto the internet. Didn't really work out for you, boy. <laughs> Didn't really work out for you, boy. I had some of the coolest General Zai combos I had ever seen in my life. Um, me and my boy Lil Fred, and in case you guys don't know who Lil Fred is, he was one of the guys who helped me out with some combos on Injustice. He didn't really teach me how to do any combos, but uh, he just kind of he just kind of was like, "Hey, man, you know you can do this too, right? You don't you don't have to do what you just did. You can save that bar meter and just do this instead." So I was like, "Okay, cool." He was giving me a couple good ideas, pointers, tricks, and tips because I was pretty late at the game. And he had already been playing it for a while, so he kind of helped me learn the fight mechanics of the game. But uh, me and him, I had. He, this is possibly the only dude who possibly saw any of my combos other than myself um, but I recorded so many and then my PlayStation 4 
somehow reformatted itself and erased every combo video that I had on my PS4. So I lost every single last video. And it happened around the time that Mortal Kombat X came out. Right, right when I first got my computer fixed, I went to go record all the videos and every single video got completely deleted right when I was about to transfer them. Why? I have no idea. And it, that was one of the craziest moments for me is that I had spent so much time creating all these combos with so many different characters. At least eight characters I had some really nice combos. General Zod, I had some really nice combos. Uh, some really nice setups. I mean, some stuff that people... I had never even seen these videos online. People doing these kind of General Zod combos. Um, and it wasn't even just him. I had Catwoman. I had uh, Batman. I had, hell, Shazam. Every, I mean, pretty much everybody. I had combos with every single character on there. I had practice combos with every single character. I learned almost every character on there. The only character I didn't really create much combos with was Hawk Girl, and I really didn't care too much for Hawk Girl. I don't know why. She was a really good character, but I just didn't care for her too much. But, um, yeah, so that was one of the craziest things with that. And here's another thing you probably, probably didn't know about me. Uh, when I first started playing Call of Duty, I was really bad, horribly bad. And uh, I met this guy named Molly Sav, who I seen him beasting. And I've told I told this story before, um, but I'll go into a little more detail this time. Uh, some of you guys probably don't even have even uh, saw this saw me talk about this before. But I met this guy named Molly Sav, and I've been playing Call of Duty forever. But I just weren't wasn't good until um, I, I believe it was uh, Black Ops One. And I wasn't like super bad in Modern Warfare 2, but I just I didn't play the game to the full to my full potential because I I didn't ever change my perks. I didn't ever use different guns. I played the same way every time. I pretty much got a sniper, went over to a high vantage point and just sniped from one spot in the map all day every day. That's all I did. I didn't really change, and I actually did pretty good doing it. But uh, I wasn't playing to my fullest potential because I wasn't getting a lot of kills, but my KDR was pretty good. And uh, so I would always play the exact same way with my sniper in the same spot every time. Attack insert, sniper, uh, sit in one spot, sit my attack insert down, and just keep sniping people from one spot in the map. And one of my favorite maps was High Rise. I used to just sit in one spot and just uh, on the crane. I used to go over to the crane and just snipe people over and over and over with with attack insert, and that's all I did the entire game. And it was pretty cool. Infrared sniper sometimes and regular sniper sometimes, just depend depending on what I felt like doing. But um, I met this guy named Moly Sav, and this is before I had any Turtle Beach headsets or anything like this. Um, and he was he was like, you know, dude. I was asking, I was like, man, how are you so beast on this game? Why are you always doing good? How come you always kill me so much? And, you know, he, he was explaining to me, uh, he was like, man, this is what you need to be doing. This is what you need to be doing. You need to use this, this, that. And at the time, I was like, why would I use Ninja? I was like, Ninja is one of the stupidest perks in the game. And to, to be honest, I, <laughs> he, he made sure that I knew that Ninja was possibly one of the most important perks in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and some people don't believe it some people say Ghost was overpowered second chance to me I believe Ninja was the number one top perk in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 if I played anybody in that game I could completely completely destroy anybody using just that perk alone uh, now there were some people who would uh, sit in the corner and then I would have to run in and look for them whenever I was using Ninja but the majority of the times if people just took one step every second or so or uh just sidestepped or anything any movement at all i would pretty much just hear it and know it was almost like i was like i was blind and uh like i was daredevil or something and i could just kind of hear hear footsteps like they were just flawlessly i don't know but um this dude taught me how to play the game completely he he showed me he said hey man put ninja on try this out try that out try this out and uh, I actually, I actually went out and bought my Turtle Beaches, put on Ninja, and it was history after that. After that, that's when I became this player that you guys see now. And it's not simply because of that one perk. That one perk opened me up for more ideal on using perks the correct way and putting perks together, trying them out, make not really looking at one perk as if it's trash. And that's not what made me good. 
Uh, it's just overall knowledge of Call of Duty itself. Le- wanting to learn how to actually play this game and get better is what made me better. And, you know, he kind of opened me up for ideal on getting better because at first I was a one man style. All I did was sniper every game, every game, all game sniper. And once I started playing with him, I changed my ideas. But I want to thank you guys for watching, checking out my videos and peace.